everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Today's one is kind of... Mm, it's a little bit of using the techniques that um, I showed in the six styles, unique styles of calligraphy video, which will pop up right now. And it's also um, using different materials and just um, showing some scenery from the from where I spent my spring break. So for spring break, I visited another emirate in the UAE called Ras Al Khaimah. And basically they have this beautiful um, like desert resort. And I thought it was such perfect inspiration. And I had so much time um, that maybe I could just, you know, write a few things of how I felt or like a few things that would help me remember it. So I decided to get out my um, journal in which I write like not a journal like in which I try to organize some things or write how I'm feeling in each month and I, sp I spent um, my time in the resort over the end of March and the first few days of April so I'm just doing it in those categories. The first thing I decided to write was desert Bedouin and for the desert I used some really nice warm tones and some red um, speckles of dots um, near the bottom to because that kind of reminded me of grains of sand and there is a gradient from pink to yellow because I think um, I felt like sand just looks that beautiful you know like sometimes you're holding um, a handful of sand and you're just like slowly letting it slip out it, it some for some reason it reminded me of that and for Bedouin I just you know was thinking of the um, historical people that lived in the Middle Eastern region and the UAE and it's kind of this is this is what I thought of of how that would look visually so I used the sharp font that I went over in the video in the unique styles video um, with the gray color and put some spiky things on it because I think they were like very you know brave because um, they you know they they were on their own and they stood out for themselves and you know took care of their family and their pack I guess um, so that's how I thought this would look. Then I tried to draw some kind of like sunrise in a mountainous landscape, I guess, just with a black pen. And then just this weird trapezoid shape with like circles and squares and dots around it because I thought whenever I thought of the word, I was kind of trying to just be creative and see where that would lead me. And this is what I thought of. Um, so for the next one, I decided to write intoxicating stars. And this was inspired by when I was um, walking through the desert at nighttime and there were, oh my goodness, the stars in the night sky were so beautiful. It was like the most inspirational thing ever. And I know people say that, um, you know, it's kind of cheesy how stars or like, you know, a sunset can inspire you, but somehow it really did. And I thought this would be so fitting. And I chose the word intoxicating because you know, you can get drunk on just, you know, seeing the stars the whole time. So I decided to do a gradient um, with a kind of basic curvy um, calligraphy font with some white accents of little dots and lines using a white Sarasa pen I had. Um, and I used like a darkish green color and then I wrote stars and in a nice whimsical-ish font and put some blue dots in it to represent stars I guess and I wanted to like you know oomph it up a little so I took an eyeshadow palette and I took some colors of like um like shimmery silver pearly iridescent colors and tried to put that on the intoxicating stars bit um to make that really sparkle and really represent stars and then I also took some light blue and dark blue colors to kind of represent I guess a nebula-ish kind of thing and I think it looked really cool at the end. And I just used that makeup brush to blend it in because as a person, I don't, I've never actually worn this makeup kit. So um, this was the perfect way to use it. And I really think I should explore using makeup in calligraphy. Um, and comment down below if you think I should try that out more often. So here, um, you're just gonna see a scenery of, you know, uh, what, I saw, and obviously my camera, no matter how good of a quality phone or camera you have, you just can't really capture the beauty of the um, stars in the night sky. It's like, it's impossible to do that. And I think the 
you know, you live in the moment and you see it with your eyes. And I'm just so glad I got to experience that. And I think everyone at one point should just, you know, go out at night and spend some time looking at the stars. The next thing I wrote was, um, and the last thing, was serene wildlife. And I chose to write this because um, I saw quite a few, um, you know, um, animals there. Um, ranging from oryxes to wild owls. Um, and yeah, the oryxes, they came every morning. So I'd wake up a little early and then go back to sleep, of course, eventually. Um, I'd wake up a little early just to see the oryxes. And they all came with their family. And it was so sweet. And they were like a little herd. And they all protected themselves. And I thought it was such a calming vision that um, serene wildlife was the perfect way to do it. And when I was thinking of it, I thought of... Um, you know, wildlife, so I thought of like brown, green, moss-ish tones, and kind of like a camo thing, so I did a gradient from two sides going in, so it kind of, um, yeah, two sides going in, so the middle part is the lightest, and I used Tombow brush pens to do these, and for this one I used, I kind of tried to make it a little more whimsical and gave them different heights, made the N a little more curvy, um, just to make it a little more uh, interesting. And for wildlife, what I did was I just wrote um, wildlife in sharp font because I think that's something that's very rugged, the word itself. And I took a green pen to kind of outline the sides. Then I decided to give some embellishments like I was for the previous ones. So I decided to draw some leaves with my Tombow brush pen and it's the same tone I used for the gradient of the um, word serene and I just decided to do some cool little leaf prints um, they're not very complicated things but somehow you know they can really um, liven up a, uh, a word and also you can use some of the same techniques from when you're doing calligraphy of uh, some strokes are lighter and some are darker and here what I decided to do was I decided I wanted to try it out with a um, a, a green background with a white thing on top and the white pen I used wasn't really showing up so I decided to use a white um like a white out because I thought that might work and I don't really use white out that much so as you can see I struggled a little but I used my creative energy and I think I when you look at it from afar it does look like a leaf and it kind of stands out from the other ones um and I think I need to First of all, practice and should explore using other materials other than just, you know, calligraphy brush pens um, to do calligraphy and explore that. And so this is how all of them turned out. I actually think all of them look pretty cool. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow my Instagram and TikTok. The TikTok has the same um, at the purple letter um, handle, I guess. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so please share the video. And yeah, I encourage you guys to explore using other materials for calligraphy purposes as well. Thanks for watching. Bye!